Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing, it really helps out a lot. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make homemade ice cream. Let's get started. These are the ingredients that you will need to make homemade ice cream from scratch. The first thing you will need is whole milk. The second thing you need is heavy whipping cream. You will need four eggs, salt, sugar, and vanilla extract. And the reason why it looks like this is because we make our own. Also, you will need a one and a half quart Cousiner ice cream machine. Also, you will need an airtight container to store your ice cream. Now what I'm doing is cracking the four eggs and I'm separating them into different containers. Make sure you separate the egg yolks from the egg whites. And I will be speeding that up right now. Now, pour your egg yolks into a medium-sized bowl. Preheat your stove top to medium-high heat, then add two cups of heavy whipping cream. Now add one cup of whole milk to your saucepan. Now give this mixture a quick stir just to make sure all the ingredients are well combined and then let this mixture come to a slight simmer. Now add two thirds of a cup of sugar. Now add one eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Then add a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Now, whisk your ingredients together until well combined. When you know you're done mixing, it should look kind of like a cake batter consistency. Now, turn your stove off. Now, take your custard mixture and start pouring it into your egg mixture while whisking. You might need someone to help you while doing this process. Make sure while you're whisking the custard mixture into the egg mixture, you whisk in at least three separate intervals. Now pour that mixture back into your medium sized saucepan. Now whisk this mixture on medium low for six minutes or until thickened. Now turn your stove off and as you can see, the custard has thickened even more. Now pour your custard mixture into 
a medium sized bowl with a mesh strainer so you can get any sugar particles or egg particles out of your mixture and as you can see there's no egg particles in my mixture so that that's how you know I cooked it just right this step is optional but what I do is put a layer of plastic wrap over the custard so no film forms on top from the milk and the eggs Before we put this in the fridge for eight hours, we're going to put plastic wrap over the lid. After you've had your mixture in the fridge for at least eight hours, then you can take the plastic wrap off as you can see, just from having it in the fridge for eight hours has made the custard thicken even more. And that's what we want. Now is the part that you've been waiting for. Just pour your ice cream mixture into your ice cream bowl, but make sure your bowl has been in the freezer for at least 24 hours. And now is the time to turn your ice cream maker on. After about 12 minutes, this is the part that you can put, let's say, chocolate chips or Oreos in to make whatever kind of ice cream you want. After about 25 minutes, this is what your ice cream should look like. Nice, thick, and creamy. Now is the time to turn your ice cream maker off. Now remove the plastic centerpiece and scrape as much ice cream as you can off. Now scrape your ice cream from your ice cream machine into your airtight container. For soft serve ice cream, put this in your freezer for two to three hours but for more firmer ice cream, put it in the freezer for six to eight hours. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and like this video if you found it interesting or if it helped you. And peace out.